have all the guns I've loved before. I think I love this shotgun more than all my other guns, cause shooting it is fun more than all the guns I've owned before. To all the shotguns in my life, including one bought for my wife. All right, yeah, it's 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 obvious I've completely lost my mind. Well, but apologies to Julio and Willie. I had to have some kind of a celebrity impersonation or tie-in with the shotgun video because it's become somewhat traditional for this series. I'm running out of people that I can even do a passingly bad impersonation of, so this is going to have to end soon. Uh, the impersonations part, not the shotgun series. Uh, Today we're looking at the third of the um, three major variants of shotguns for anti-zombie or self-defense SHTF, W-R-O-L, deployment, and it happens to be what's called an autoloader. Now, before we've seen um, uh, uh, break-action shotguns, where you've got to actually sort of break the action open and you've got to manually load one or two shells each time that you, you fire the gun. We've also seen the pump shotgun where you can load into a tubular magazine like this a certain number of shells, but every time that you are going to fire, you've got to reload then by operating a pump which kicks around out of the ejection port and then loads another one from the tube. The auto loader, as the name implies, well it automatically loads the next round. Now this is not conceptually any different than a semi-automatic rifle or a semi-automatic handgun where you pull the trigger and it fires and the next round is automatically loaded from the magazine which in this case happens to be a tubular magazine. This is a Mossberg 930 SPX. It's a particularly good uh, version of a auto loader for self-defense or anti-zombie deployment and here's kind of the features of the weapon. It has a eight I'm sorry, seven round tubular magazine. It will also hold one in the chamber, so it is what we call in shotgun terminology a seven plus one configuration for a total of eight rounds before you've got to reload. Um, we've got ghost ring sights here, pretty good ghost ring sights with a um, fiber optic front post. Uh, pretty nice uh, for mechanical sights, let me tell you. The traditional Mossberg tang mounted safety here. Of course others will have them mounted here on the uh, the trigger group. Other manufacturers, Remington, um, Benelli, make excellent versions of this gun, uh, of this type of uh, shotgun, and I'd recommend those highly as well. They're all pretty doggone good. Um, the, the weapon loads exactly like you'd load a, um, a, uh, a pump shotgun. Send the bolt forward here. The rounds go in here, and then you push the round forward into the tubular magazine. You then rack the first round by pulling that back and sending it home, and you're ready to roll. You can fire as quickly as boom, 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 eight rounds. I mean, actually, boom, 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 that fast. It has been noted that this is a rate of fire uh, pretty close to... Uh, submachine gun fire. So that is uh, one little bit of versatility that you get out of this weapon that you don't necessarily get out of a pump or a break action shotgun is the incredible rate of fire. When you think about all the different kinds of shotgun rounds that there are, various buckshot, bird shots, slugs, specialty rounds for all kinds of things, this becomes an amazingly effective weapon um, in, in a combat or a self-defense situation. Uh, this is the um, Auto-loading shotgun, the last of our three major variants of shotguns in the continuing shotgun series. I will uh, mention some other types of shotguns as well in future videos just by way of reference. By no means are these three variants that I've mentioned, the brake action, the pump, and the auto-loader, the only things that are out there, but they are the most popular that you'll encounter. Future videos are going to include uh, actually firing these shotguns. I know some of you are saying, shut up and shoot the dang gun. Well, we're going to get to that. I'm going to show you uh, various shotgun shells and how they will perform and uh, pattern, and uh, we'll even get into a little bit of shotgun technique as time goes by. Continuing the shotgun series, that's Zombie Tactics for today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.